Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. What you'll see over here is that I'll add a little complex to our um, existing logistics hub here at the um, at Ultimograd. And uh, what this is, is I'll quickly explain to you, I've done it in, in between, um, just to make sure that everything fits and I don't spend a lot of time and effort building stuff or trying to build stuff while... Uh, while, we're, while uh, you're watching. Um, anyway, I've split off another section of rail. I've got a rail station over here. This is a livestock uh, yard. What do they call it? A livestock wall or range. Livestock range. Um, this is a meat storage over here and this is a slaughterhouse. So the idea is that we, from our new facility over there, we're gonna bring some livestock over here. We're gonna drop them off over here and hopefully and turn it into meat fairly quickly. Uh, we should have all the workers we need from right over here. This is a very low polluting building. I've checked it out, very low polluting. Um, and so that shouldn't be a big problem. What if we have a look at that, that's like less than seven tons of pollution per year. If we compare it to what? Well, this guy is a big guy. It's not actually telling us, but this is like 25 or 26 tons of pollution per year. So it's quite a quite a big one. Okay, I've also um, figured out that my little tunnel over here only goes into one direction. I think we've talked about it in the past. And we're not going to be able to get workers over here. And so I've started running a bus. So at least get a little bit going on. Um, but what I've done is I've uh, built two extra bridges over here. And I've connected the rail through this section. So that now we can in fact bring uh, workers from Ultima Grad Central Station to, uh, to uh, whatever that is. Um, and so that is something that we can set up straight away. These guys should be ready to go. Let's quickly see if we need to move a few more um, trucks over here. I believe we should have a fair bit of trucks available. Uh, what are we building here? Buses and things. So trucks and things should be... Okay, we're gonna do lots of other stuff again, but let's grab these four trucks um, and we'll move them over there because I'm a little concerned I don't have enough trucking going on. Um, so where are my trucks? This guy has 10 trucks, that should be okay. This guy has 10 trucks, so that should be okay. And this guy has 10 trucks, so that should be okay too. What I'll do is I'll actually move two more over here because there's a few um, of the smaller of the smaller variety over here and then I'm gonna maybe just do one at this one and one at that one just to make sure we've got a little bit of extra trucks available should we need to okay so we'll do that uh, the next thing I wanted to do is check whether we've got a train available to bring some workers to, um, to this this way so what do we have over here we've got a few we can actually set up one one train do we have anything what i'm kind of wondering about is should i build something a slightly different what is that okay um uh, so let's let's have a look how many workers do these guys take uh, about 50 workers and we've got probably about 10 of them don't we Do we have livestock here? Oh, livestock is starting to roll on in. I like it. I like it. So these trucks are bringing in livestock. Um, so we should be seeing livestock filling up this area. Excellent. How much livestock per truck? Why? 2.0.27? Yeah, uh, I'm kind of wondering. You know what we should maybe do? On the livestock, guys, maybe we should wait till there's like 5% or something. What is 5%? 10% will be 2.6 tons. So maybe what we should do is, is bring them in chunks of 10% so that they don't um, so that they don't go go nuts. So let's uh, let's storage if it's 10%, just so that they uh, that we don't go nuts with how many how many trips these guys are making because I think this is very inefficient. So let's do that, and hopefully this means that it'll wait until at least 2.6 tons before it drives. So that's about half a load. Um, so that's okay. I think that'll that'll help us out a little bit, unless unless we go a little bit more and we say twenty, in which case it'll be a full load. Right? It'll be a full load. Uh, yeah, 
pretty much a full load. I think that'll work. So let's try it out and see if that works. That'll mean these trucks won't be driving back and forth all the time, but it may mean that we will um, deprive ourselves a little bit, but I think this will be more efficient this way, especially if we get um, the workers and the stuff in here. It'll just mean their, their availability will be a little bit better. That one I don't want to. I don't want to maintain a, a minimum over there because this is five. So if we do ten percent, um, ten percent of this guy is going to be like fifty tons, and that doesn't doesn't not not necessary. And once they come in, they should be fine. So we'll do a little bit of that. So we'll hopefully move livestock a little bit better. Okay. Um, so we've got about ten of these guys, probably more. Six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, a big train is probably the, about the right thing to do. So we'll uh, we'll set up one of our big trains to start running. Um, yeah, we'll do one one of the big trains and then we'll move it out from there. So let me grab one of these guys and sorry, let's just grab one of them and we'll move it over here where I believe is where the other guys are. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll set that that one up to uh, to uh, make uh, get our people over there so that they can start working. Uh, before we do that, let's quickly head on over and quickly switch on um, Ultima Grad station over here because at the moment we're not allowing workers or anybody to come in over here. So let's get workers going. Passengers will switch on later as we can get these things to move. Um, I'll need to get these to be built. But anyway, as this goes, now we'll start seeing people um, flocking in. This obviously needs workers, so we'll move some workers out over here soon enough. Um, but that's starting to look pretty good. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a fair bit in this episode. We're going to do a fair bit. Where's my trains? Okay, trains should be ready to go. So let's, uh, gra uh, actually, let's, uh, let's move stuff over first. And there we go. So this train should get us 500 capacity, right? Exactly does that, does that exactly. Okay, so with that in mind, let's quickly set up a line for it. We're going to need it to come on over here to Ultima Grad, where it will pick up workers. Don't mind too much what kind of workers you're picking up, as long as you're picking up workers, and you're going to come and drop off workers over here. There we go. Switch all of that off, and you're just going to be dropping off workers over there. And you're going to be back and forth on that one. Um, and that's going to be fine, right? Ultima, Ultima, Ultima meat workers is what this is going to be, and they'll and they'll do their thing. So we'll go ahead and start that one off. We'll pop in here. The guy's going to come on over. We'll come in over here and have a quick look at that, uh, which is this, and this is going to be Ultima meat store meat workers. Ultima meat workers as a line because we'll probably get another at some point but that does the trick pretty well so it should um ooh. that is quite interesting though but that won't actually work so let's um let's actually pause the game while we quickly s look at this um signaling s arrangement over here if it tries to do that oh but it won't be able to do that it honestly won't be able to do that. What it'll do is it'll it'll go in, in here and then it'll come back out that way. So that's fine. That is gonna work just brilliantly and these, uh, these outer rails will become bypasses exactly as intended. So that's awesome. These things are under construction. Uh, what's going on with this? What is this? This is a parking lot actually. And what I'm thinking we could do is we could actually run a little path from the parking lot across over here, just uh, just in case. So uh, it's obviously not, yeah, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Uh, let's have a look at signing our construction, guys. So if we go to that one, let's assign, oops, let's assign some construction to it. Uh, let's assign these bits and pieces to it so we can get that up and running too. Um, I wanted to move some people over here, but let's get our shops and stuff ready first and then we'll move people over. This is not being constructed. Oh, there is a heli construction guy working on this. Can we get some of the Ultima guys to, to do this thing as well? 
and I just wanted to make sure, are we in fact picking up the stuff over here? We are bringing construction materials in here, right? Let's just double check, are we getting our construction material? No, not the roller. Give me, give me this guy. Come on, get about the vehicles. Go over here. Now let's have a look. You are getting ultimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are in fact getting your stuff. Um, your stuff over here. You are getting it over here. This is where is this warehouse? It's got what it needs. I just want to make sure we know where that is, though. Is it over? So we don't have mechanical components and stuff over here. Let's just have a look. We should have it. We should have it. Unless we haven't brought the trains to come on over here. Uh, over here. That's the basics. Um, over here. Yes. So you should be able to get some stuff over here. Mechanical components. Let's have a quick look at our mechanical component distribution. Um, wow. Lots of stops, guys. Lots of stops. Um, are you coming? Port of Chaos. IC4. Elas. Yeah, you're not actually delivering over here. So the question is, do you... This is the thing, right? So from... Pickup production. So from Irinsky Warehouse, where you're loading. Do you then want to come over here? It's a pretty easy ride to get over here and then move on to these guys. I think so. Let's, uh, let's move you in right there. Okay, where you're gonna unload this stuff and go for it. So now, I believe what should happen is let's let's do this. You should be popping down here. I think that's uh, that's pretty good actually. You're gonna ooh. going from Irinsky. You're coming in over here. You're gonna pop down. Come on back. Pop in here. Deliver and deliver. And then you're going to head off out that way. Fine. And then you're going to do the other guys. And then on your way back, I'm assuming you're coming this way. Yeah, it seems like on your way back you're coming this way. And that's okay. Uh, you can't perhaps not run through the entire town there. You can't perhaps come out this way. This is a one-way situation. That's why you can't do that. I uh, would have liked you to do the other one. But anyway, I think that's fine. We're not going to have too much of a problem with that. So let's get that going on. Hopefully that makes things move a little quicker over here. Uh, so we only assigned these guys, but let's, uh, let's get the others assigned here too. Come on. Do your thing. So we'll get workers and, and everything over here. Um, I can actually assign that through through this as well because I've got it set up over there. So please come a, go ahead and get yourself assigned. Yeah, absolutely. Get yourself assigned so we can get all of this built. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. Okay, once all of these things are slowly getting out of the ground, we can uh, we can bring more people in. But that's awesome. That is awesome. I shouldn't have any big problems. Are we starting the harvest? It should be very close now. No, growing progress is still a bit off it seems okay that's fine at least that means winter is quite a while away we should have a train almost ready to go here shouldn't we there it is oh, let's uh, let's have a look at this train as it dri drives into uh, Ultima Grad okay so if we do that and I will play it like so and we'll do this and we'll take a drive here we go Ultima Grad crossing the bridge Wow, across the motorway over here. Pretty substantial one. This is higher than it should than it needs to be, I think. And it'll go down here. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. This is a pretty complex little intersection here, but it works fairly well. Dips down there. It's a little bit of clipping on there. Ooh, a little bit of clipping probably over here too. But I think that's fine. It's just to make sure the trains get in through there. And then this guy is gonna switch on over that way. Uh, should be able to get a fair bit of workers to pick up. Not a lot, though. Okay, pick up all of these workers. Flip it around. Let's uh, let's turn ourselves, angle ourselves this way so we can see the journey going back. Look at the smoke over there. 
Okay, here we go, heading out this way. Nice, I like it. I love our infrastructure. I really do. Wow, this is high. Doesn't need to be that high. It's overkill. Overkill to bridge across this. But it's fine. What am I gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, trains crossing. Love it. The bus is coming back. Loving that. Excellent. We're gonna move across now. We're gonna make the turn. Excellent. Yeah, the meat workers. Well, it's actually livestock farmers, to be honest. Industrial um, farming. Excellent. And we've arrived. Okay, let's pop on out, see how many people we actually have on the train. 41 workers only, so certainly things will be a little problematic to get all of this to work straight away, but that's okay. Um, lots of, lots of, uh, hopefully this is starting to fill up. Excellent, look at that. So we should be able to get that ready to go um, soon, as soon as we obviously need to continue to build these things first. Now, the question is, can we and should we perhaps make a connection out this way? I'm almost tempted to do so. I'm almost tempted to have a connection through there and tie it in over here. But it's a little, it's a bit awkward, you know? It is a bit awkward. Alternatively, what we can do is we can, we can do it this way around. That's the alternative. We can do it this way. We can keep running it this way. Yeah, this is just a very... Because these guys are... Uh, anyway, don't don't bother about it. Because ultimately, we're not going to... We're not going to have tons of vehicles driving around here. So, it's fine. This is a, a short-term situation while, we, while we're busy um, sorting this stuff out over here. How many workers? 44, 43 workers hanging out over here. Um, once we fill these guys up, we will should get lots more workers over there. Um, lots of little bits and pieces that we're building. Um, there's a few things that I still want to do, but I'm happy that we're getting a slaughterhouse up and running over here. Oh, let's speed it up a little bit because uh, we can get things done a little quicker. Okay, we're a few episodes away from episode number 100, and I wouldn't mind um, you leaving your comments down below as to what you believe should happen in uh, in episode 100. Is there anything special you would like us to do with episode 100? Um, I wouldn't... Uh, please leave your suggestions. I'm, I'm looking for cool suggestions as to what to do. Here, we're building an additional um, heating facility so that we can um, get some more heating going on over here. I believe these guys are all heated. Yeah, they're, they're fine. Um, and I think these aren't too, yeah, not, their, their estimated drains are are still uh, completely manageable. So we should be okay with that. And in terms of power, it is in fact getting power, of course, also from here. Without the cables running everywhere, it's very difficult to see. We, we should be building things like fire stations over here. Yeah, there is a fire station um, popping up in this area. So once that's ready to go, we're good. Uh, let's quickly see, what are we building in terms of trains? Because I think we need to add more passenger wagons to the mix. Uh, oh, we are in fact building more passenger wagons. That's awesome. That is awesome. And what I was kind of wondering, I think I should build a couple of these. That's too so. So let's build two of them. And then we'll go back over to... Uh, do we have meat, actually? Do we have the meat stuff? Let's uh, let's forget about that. Let's get... Um, well, livestock is here, right? So we have... We should have. Can we build a livestock train? Let's quickly have a look, see if we're going to be able to do a livestock train. Yes, we should be able to do a livestock train and a refrigeration train as well. So that's fine. Uh, that is absolutely fine. Let's just continue with that journey to build a couple of these to um, to do uh, local uh, trips within Ultima Grad. That's, that's really what I want to do between those stations. Our money is absolutely flying in. Flying in. Lots of vehicles everywhere. Um, buses, refrigerator. Guys, these guys, let's move these over a little bit. Yep, buses over here. Let's 
good. Once we've built uh, another open hull or two, these are open hull, right? Yeah, so what we can do is we can take the tower crane, place it on there, so we can actually get these tower cranes out of the way. Move this, move it over there. Move these two uh, in here, the cranes. Logistics um, and admin and all these kind of bits and pieces. We've got a couple of ambulances. Are we building ambulances? Yeah, we're building ambulances. Got a couple of these guys. Let's move a few of them over. I haven't built a technical facilities piece in quite a while. I just need to make sure that we do, in fact, have sufficient things up and running everywhere. Um, the harvesters, I wouldn't mind. The harvesters and tractors, I wouldn't mind moving out there somewhere. So we're, we're ready to go when we need some of these again. Uh, let's move these guys out. I believe we still have spots. Yeah. That's good. Excellent. There we go. And we've got a few other bits and pieces. Something has stopped working. Let's quickly have a look at that. Just want to make sure that we um, are doing our thing. We've got this. We've got out of workers over here. Where are we exactly? Um, up here, really? Why do you run out of workers so quickly? Is what uh, what what bothers me. How many trains do we have on this line? This Bendy Airport and Power Line workers. There should be two. Keep an eye on what's going on with this. Really, it doesn't feel like they should be struggling this much. There comes the next, the next one. Oh, crap. What happened? A heat exchanger in Ultima Logistics? I'll have a look at that right now. A vehicle was lost? Okay, so the fire department was in fact there. I'm going to have a look at that in just a minute. I just want to see what is in fact going on with our... Um, our situation over here is coming through. Where's my train? Here it comes. This should be absolutely fine. You shouldn't necessarily want to stop here again on the way back. Right? On the way back, you should just go straight through. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna let it go and see what happens. Presumably, yeah, that's not the greatest, but presumably it should work. I need to, I need to go and have a look at this. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna leave, let it be. It's 2017, June 2017, four years in, in the past. And we're, uh, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing well, I think. I'll have to have a look at this in, uh, in just a jiffy. So if this guy is going to come back, yeah, here he comes back. And the other one has decided not to arrive yet. No, that, that pretty good actually they're pretty good and you're still working you're just running out of workers now uh, maybe it's not the end of the world okay let's move on over here and see what's going on here okay so you are oh, we're building a new fire station i'm gonna go ahead and pay for this just because we can't go without heating um once our new fire station is up and running, oh look at that stuff is being built can we finish this guy off? No, this will be finished off really soon. We're in the dying stages of finishing it off. So we're going to have the fire station up and running in uh, Jiffy. And then we'll move some fire trucks in over here. And hopefully that means things will look better. Oh, all of this is done. Uh, not quite, but almost there. Get the fire station. Fire station is done. Ready to go. So let's bring in some fire trucks over here. Quickly bring in some fire trucks and hopefully we'll not uh, continue to have these problems. Um, fire trucks should be available. Well, we have a few of them. Let's get four fire trucks coming over. I think that's gonna, gonna be sufficient for now. Constantly requiring um, more and more vehicles everywhere. 
So the amount of vehicles on this map, we can have a bit of a look at that. Okay, move you over here. You over here. You over here. I'm, I'm kind of wondering about the firefighting helicopters and whether that's um, really an efficient way of doing stuff. So we'll get some some of these guys over. We're not. We don't have any anybody to work here just yet. And um, this is practically done. So we should be able to limit some amounts and make sure that you maintain a healthy supply of food really beyond everything else. A healthy supply of food is the is the appropriate um, piece here for us. I think that's okay. Probably a little bit extra over there. Something like that should be about right. Actually, we don't need that. Let's just do this. 12 and a half tons of food is exactly what we're going to need. Um, that's okay. And then over here, let's limit our amounts. We don't want any crops here. We don't want any chemicals, fabrics. Uh, alcohol is not required over here. No. Food, yes. Clothes, yes. Electronic components, no. Mechanical components, no. Plastics, no. Electronics, yes. And then we'll just make sure to bump up the food a fair bit over there. Uh, probably bump that one up a little bit more. Something like that gives us 30 tons of food. We don't, we don't, we can, uh, we can bump it even more. We don't need as much. I think that's about a truck load for each of those. We'll just do something like this and something like that. Yeah, that's, that's about the right. I think that, that we don't need that to be running quite as quickly. So 40 tons of food over here is probably the, the right thing to do. We should be able to move a fair bit of people through here. Um, whether that's enough or whether we, we we're going to need to do another shop right over here as well. Um, so these things should be done. Let's um, quickly get our distribution going. You are distributing food and th things. You should be Central Road Cargo Station. Where is this one? Just want to see where. Uh, oh, this should be this guy. Okay, that's fine. Let's just make sure you're also delivering food supplies over there. Oh, you're gonna unload whatever we need. Can this be built? Uh, can we get done with this? Let's uh, let's fix that up. Need to uh, finish these off so that we can actually get some people to work here. We've got built capacity somewhat. What? I don't know why that's saying that, but anyway, there is that's going on. These can uh, slowly make their way, get popped up over here. Um, I believe we are sending vehicles this way. Yes, there is vehicles coming this way to drop off some some vehicles, so people can actually start buying vehicles and park them in these various parking spots that we've created. Um, this is under construction. How's the construction going on over here? Yeah, not bad. Hopefully, we'll get this built. Pretty quickly. Missing resources boards. Oh yeah, boards are being unloaded. And now um, construction is underway. Getting the steel and the stuff. Still more prefab panels and more, more bricks required. Is that everything? Yeah, all the steel is there. The last bit of bricks are arriving. Um, hopefully that's the last pieces of the prefabs. Liking it. We're, we're doing a decent job. The train is done. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on with our livestock situation. We have any... Yeah, the problem is with... Uh, we're going to have with crops here. This should be pretty much growing. Yeah, we, we're going to need to ramp up production here substantially. Um, are we going to move some stuff out of here yet? Harvest should be starting soon. Yeah, okay. Let's... Uh, I want to pop up. What am I doing in terms of building helicopters or planes and the likes? This is our order that we've never actually used for anything. That is built, but we don't really have people going on over there. Okay. Are we... Yeah, we're uh, wasting our resources because we don't have... Okay. What I'm going to do... Can I move this guy over here? First stop is unreachable for the in the current vehicle position. That can't be true, can it? Just see, can we move guys over here? For some reason, they can't actually move somewhere. It's a, uh, just thinking, what happened? No, that's uh, that's okay. 
I can't move them, but what I can do is I can move these guys, right? Let's just move this one out of the way. Yeah, you're gonna do, you're gonna be no problem to move. Once you're out off, off of the rank there, the next one will appear and we can move you off of the rank. Um, I would like to get these out of the way because they're parked here, um, causing us some issues. So for some reason you're saying you can't actually get here. Can you get there? You can get there. So let's park one of them over there. Oh, maybe it's too small. Maybe it can't actually go there. It's, it's actually too small. Let's park a few of them in these locations so we don't deal with that problem all too often. No, but they should. They're coming into these, aren't they? Yeah, here they go. That's uh, interesting. They should really be able to. Let's try it one more time. We move you over here. Oh, now you're doing it. Okay, fine. No problem. No problem then. So you can squeeze in over there. Okay, what I want to do is just make sure... Oh, we are actually doing a ton of the others also. So let's... Um, that's the cargo ones. Let's get the others going, these MI6s. They're very old helicopters, aren't they? Get a couple of them going and then we'll get a few more of these guys going. I don't mind building tons of these guys. We can sell them, no problem. I'm almost tempted to move these guys over here now. Apart from the fact that you don't have any fuel, but anyway, that's fine. Don't mind where you're actually parked. Are you... You've stopped, right? Because you've run out of workers and now there's new workers arriving right now. It's amazing how... I don't know. This piece should work really well, but it's not. Okay, so we are building helicopters. Harvest should start. Man, look at this. I love the little lone trees in between. Look at this farming complex. Try and make sure that we have food for our people. Stop production. Where is this? Is, should be a different one. It's uh, double check what's going on with this guy. Why have you stopped production? This is a small one, isn't it? You shouldn't need. Why? Honestly, don't understand. You're definitely having coal. You're. Um, you've got workers. Maybe it was a glitch in the power. Might have been a glitch in the power. Look at these pipes and things. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, can we move? We should be able to move people over now. So let's quickly see. Let's grab a ton of um, over 21s living with their parents. So we can kind of... How many people in here? Okay, that's pretty full, actually. Let's clear out this building. We'll fill up, up on the other side. And that should be able to ramp up our production a fair bit with uh, regards to the livestock. Okay. So, this should have stuff to sell. Stuff to sell is, in fact, available. So, let's uh, move people over. Okay, good. So, now people are available. Ah, what we should be doing... Um, how far are you going to walk? You're going to walk there, so no problems. do we have okay we've got fire trucks over here we've got tons of food available electronics clothes excellent so really that shouldn't be a problem so people here should be fairly happy and fed and the likes oh the schools are being built that's awesome oh we've got a car so that means our first load of cars was delivered over here i think if we've got a car over there why are we struggling to get these things built? I mean, these guys should be building this like no problems. Missing asphalt. I don't have workers here right now, but workers should be um, constantly arriving. Oh, are we not getting workers in? Where are you going to get your workers from? Um, I believe you might be going to a station that's not actually getting any workers anymore. Ultima Concrete and Asphalt. Let's uh, let's swap it over to this one because it's a closer ride as well. Um, so Ultima, or passengers, Ultima will be all the way at the back. 
this guy, let's instead of going there, let's tell you to get out, get your people over here. <clears throat> and we'll uh, clear out that one. Here you will have workers getting in and well, I don't really mind what kind of workers you get in. And on this side, you're not, you're, you are actually, you're only going to unload and only workers. Thank you. No tourists. There we go. So hopefully that will um, slow down. Well, it'll be a quicker drive. But driving across here is a bit of a challenge, to be honest. Okay, this is coming along nicely. I don't mind it at all. How many workers do we have over here? There's a fair bit of workers hanging out. Oh, all of this is done? Oh, beautiful. That's almost done. This is good. This is good. We've got workers hanging out. We've got livestock missing. Okay. What we need to do is set up a train. Um, and this is 225. How much livestock can we get on a train? Let's see about getting up that train. One livestock train. Um, uh, hang on. Give me one of them. 24 tons, so that's 24, 48, actually, we probably need a big one, five, five like that, how much livestock can you take in total now, let's uh, delete that one, that's 120 tons of livestock that that can do, I think that's, okay, let's, let's leave it, let's leave it with that, let's leave it with that, and what we'll do is we'll come in over here, and once those are done, we'll get the next round of box cars going. Okay, so you're doing it, so let's make your move. And this guy, I'm gonna actually, um, you're gonna kind of partly become the storage. So I want you to come in over here, you're going to load up on livestock and you're gonna wait until you're loaded. On this station, load 100%, yes. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your way over to this station and where you're gonna unload livestock and you will wait until you're unloaded on this station. And that's gonna be it. Let's, um, let's start that journey. Let's pop in over here, go to this new line. Uh, where is it, this one? This my new line. Is it this one? No, that's Customs House. Here it is, that's the one. Um, let's rename that line as Ultima Livestock. Ultima Livestock. Stock. And now what we'll do is we'll start seeing. Ooh, 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 don't do that. Ultima Livestock and save it. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to just finish off these little sections. I know because asphalt's been a bit of a problem, so let's just finish off these sections. I don't want us to um, not function because of it. So now we've got, that's all done. So we should get our train to come on over here and load on up. Um, there's enough here to give us our very first load. And all I want to make sure is that we're actually running a pretty tight ship. We don't have any crops. Okay, so crops is a problem. So now we'll move on to the next piece of the puzzle. Um, as the crops get harvested over here, we'll have a fair bit of crops available, I believe. This guy is trying to load crops. He's waiting here. Um, you've got a lot of crops in there. I really don't need you to wait until you're full. Yeah, that's probably not right. Unless we get an extra one. That's probably not great. Let's have a look at our, our crop situation at other places. Let's have a look. How many, are we still, do we still have crops here? No crops here, and that's we're missing crops. So that's a challenge for us, really. Um, how do we get, we've got a crop strain that runs around, right? Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But I think what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna pop into this guy. Forget about the advanced. I've never actually properly used the advanced setup. You don't have any specific line sorted out, so let's just do that. And let's just do, you want to wait until you're unloaded. 
I think that's fine. Wait until you're unloaded is okay. I don't mind you parked over here though, but wait until you're unloaded is probably about okay. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. So with that in mind, you're gonna move out over there now. You've got your, I'm really interested to see how much this is gonna be. This is so close. We're gonna start the harvest any minute now. It's gonna be awesome to see that harvest in action. Um, so we need, um, so once that half livestock is going, I'm just hoping we can we can use that. So I'm kind of wondering about a little bit of a shunt over here. It's gonna move these guys in. We can, we can get this guy to loop on back. Do we, do we bring it down here and then we shunt it in here? Or do we just truck it from this side? I think we can do that. Let's, let's just truck it from this side. We don't need to shunt it in there. Okay, let's give ourselves another, um, another one of these guys. You can move crops. Can you move livestock? You can move livestock as well. I just want a small cargo harbor. Somewhere that's going to make sense for us. You know what I'm interested in is actually getting a cargo harbor to come in here a little bit. I'm wondering about that, getting to getting it to come in a little bit. So, uh, actually, if we just kind of square it off over here, is that is that appropriate though? I mean, over there, over there is fine. I'm guessing. It just feels like it's. No, that's a, that's a pretty distance, actually. That is a pretty distance. So what we're going to try and do is bring it as close as possible. So I think down here, that's the, the road. So if we bring it in somewhere over here. So let's uh, let's see about, um, about leveling out terrain. I'm going to go ahead and pay for that. We're going to go pretty big. So what I'm going to try and do is level this. Wow, that is... Yeah, I'm not gonna do a, a lot here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it a little bit of a of a jagged edge here so that we can um, we can try and get our yeah this is this is good. Now we're now we're moving. It is enormously expensive to do that. Because I think we have a Frida available to start moving stuff crops over here. All part of the plan. If we do a little bit of this, okay, and now if I'm going to do that, I just want to make it um, a little bit more pronounced. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Get it a nice uh, edge there. Excellent. So now, if I go back to this guy, if we can uh, get this in here somewhere. Let's uh, sort this out. Don't mind you filling it up. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for that. No problem with that. Let's see what kind of a road connection we're gonna do here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Before we do that, we need a bit of storage here, modded storage. Um, I'm looking for a grain elevator of sorts. It's got a rail in there though. That's uh, it's not quite what I'm after here, oh, am I? Let's pause the game for a second while we think about this a little bit. Extended grain elevator. How much do you take? 8,000, 4,000, um, 8,000. Extended grain elevator. If we do this, we get it a fair bit closer though. I 
I don't mind that. I, honestly, I don't mind that. So if we do that... Okay, we've got to have... Yeah, and now what we can do is we can get a road cargo station going. Which is also what we will need. A bit of a road cargo station right over here. Yeah, I think that's exactly about what we're going to need here. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Let's do this. Um, I don't mind. Let's... Um, Make sure that we've got the roads going out everywhere. Something like that. I'll go ahead and pay for this. And to be honest, let's just build. Ooh, what am I? What am I building? Just build all of that. Okay, so now all of this should be fine. I'll get the next Frida up and running so we can bring in some stuff over here. These guys will be able to pick up crops from over here. I like it. I like the idea of doing that. What we could eventually do is we could actually have a little bit of a, a line to come in here. Just in case we would have wanted to do that. Move crops around. What is this? Is there crops on this? No, no crops on this one. Because we've got... Nothing happening with our crops. Oh, here we go. Harvest is starting. We're going to have a look at that in just a minute. Oh, we're actually doing a pretty decent job on the smaller ones, to be honest. A pretty decent job. How much crops available over here? Almost nothing, to be honest. Almost no crops from these guys. So I'm not sure we're getting a lot from that. But we're moving crops around. Are we seeing crops in here? We are. A lot, actually. A lot. Okay, get a Frida over here. To start moving crops over this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab you guys. Oops. You guys, I'm going to say, buddies. You're also going to pop in over here. And load up on, on whatever you need. Uh, it'll only be crops in there anyway. So that's fine. Now, where's that other Frida? Which is the ship's name, by the way. I haven't had a look at the ship building in quite a while. Um, yeah, these guys are the hopper ships and things. That's fine. I can, you know, people are working here. What we can do is I can just go ahead and sell that for, uh, wow, 18, 000, 18 million rubles. Let's uh, go ahead and sell that um, across the border so that the next one can pop on out. I'm going to grab this Frida. This Frida is going to come on over here. You From here, you're going to... Come and load up on crops and you're gonna pop in over here and you're gonna unload crops and that's it and make a start so you should be able to get your fuel over there so we'll move crops via river over here so that should be okay i'm hoping we can move a lot of crops how quickly are we unloading over here it's not a yes so we are Doing a pretty decent job at unloading. This 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 elevator or grain elevator or grain storage, um, it does a decent job at loading unloading. It's fairly rapid, fairly rapid unloading happening over there. Seventeen tons over there, twenty one tons over there. What is the saying? Too late to start sowing. Winter is coming. Okay, fair enough. Lots. I'm very keen to see what's going on. Grain collision cannot pass. Where the hell is this happening? What the hell? Why are you here? Why do we have a crop train running through here? Okay, fair enough. And this? What the hell are you? Oh, well, that... What? Yeah, you shouldn't be running through here, guys. This guy, um... Is acting out of out of place. I do wonder about some of these things sometimes. So lots of crops coming in everywhere. Should have a Frida picking up um, soon. Is this my new Frida or is it my old Frida? This is a Frida, right? Yeah, Frida. Uh, what are you doing, Baldru and Port of Chaos? You're the old Frida. You're coming over and you're gonna come and pick up some stuff. You should have. Practically a full load ready to go. Not a full load, but... Whoa, look at this! 
Okay. One thing that I'm wondering about is can we add a road cargo station here? Seems not. It seems, honestly, it seems like we can't. Unless we... Unless we only do a road cargo station and we move these things around. But that's going to be something for winter, I think. Because with all of these guys, we're going to get stuck with them all the time. So yeah, this is a bit of a challenge. There's obviously a lot of crops coming on in. All of these should be full. I'm worried. Look at this. Yeah, we are, we should get a full load. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you'll end up without a full load. I'm very keen to see this all work. So we've got this guy coming on in. Should be able to fill up with uh, fuel over here. Yeah, so you're never gonna have a problem with fuel. What's going on here? Oh, look at that. Excellent. I like it. Because this area is without fire station because we don't have, um, we don't have workers out over here. This is a completely self-sufficient sister setup without any workers. Yeah, this is something. This is loading big time. Not filling up with fuel either. Where's my next Frida? How long is this take? this guy this is a uh, bauxite okay cool I'm a little worried where my other Frida is did I not start it? I might not have started it let's uh, pause the game and see where that Frida is at it's a massive no it's not here that's the next one I'll uh, this one wasn't ah uh, let's move that one out of the way again then. where's my where's my other Frida what Hang on, hang on, something's missing. Give me ships, ships, where am I going? Frida's? Um, I would like to see cargo all over the map. We should be able to spot if we move, which, which are moving, this one's moving. What is your route, your port of chaos? You're not actually moving. So this one here, and then it's that one. Where are you at? Um, how are you? How are you doing this then? Can you? You gotta be kidding me. How on earth are you gonna... Can you loop... Oh, maybe you can loop around. You can loop around? You can loop around. <laughs> you gonna loop around? Okay, well then I don't mind. Loop around. Loop around. Out of our, outside of our waters, guys, but loop around. If you wanna loop around, loop around. What is this? This is the oil, guys. Oh, loving the fact that we've got so many boats going now. How filled up is this Frida? Filled up. Actually filled up. And this guy? Oh, filling up nicely. I'm hoping we're going to move all of this out. You are. Yeah, and let's just have a quick look. So we've moved our very first load of livestock over here. So we should have this guy filled up with meat. Nothing else is actually going because we don't have any livestock. So maybe I shouldn't be waiting on the livestock. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we shouldn't be waiting on the livestock. Let's, uh, well, to be honest, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a once-off big chunk of, uh, that's maybe a little, uh, actually, it's not that much. Let's do a once-off big chunk of this, so fill it up. Well, not fill it up, but let's buy a big chunk. Um, of crops and then we'll start moving crops to the various places
Yeah, so the idea is I'm gonna do a once-off big chunk of crop buy. Um, because we're trying to fix it, I just don't want us to kind of run dry on everything while we await it. And I know we haven't been paying attention to the meat for a very long time, but uh, but maybe this is going to be going to be okay. Give us a nice big chunk of it over here. So we have the ability to, and we, we can set up another train and bring it in from the from the border. It's not a it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We can certainly do that. I just want to make sure. That um, that we can actually move move some stuff around. Uh, did I not sit, tell you to stop? Well, it, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do that. Let's just keep you going. Oh yeah, yeah. I said not to stop because of um, because I'm going to bring in this stuff. We move it out quicker than we can actually get it done. Looking on my Frida to come come on over. How much do I have here? Lots of uh, lots of stuff being being moved around. Uh, are you bringing in any crops? No, no crops whatsoever. Already dropped off all the crops that you can. But we are now, in fact, bringing a little bit of livestock um, our way. How quickly does this run through it? A 10 ton per day is what it uses to do five tons of livestock. Uh, for some reason, I think that's fine. But yeah, we need to fill all of them up and that's the challenging component at the moment. We take so much crops out of here. So much. Got a couple of workers everywhere. How many workers are coming out of this? A little bit. Doing workers everywhere. That's crazy. Are we seeing a Frida coming this way? I'm still concerned by the Frida that we've that we had missing. Nothing parked over there. How much is in here? Enough for another Frida load? I'm I'm still not sure we're doing enough livestock. What I might do is set up another Frida to go to bring in uh, big loads of uh, of crops over here. I think that's uh, that's probably a good one. Um, I'm going to do that. So let's. Um, I'm going to leave this going for now so that we can continue to to bring in to at least get our livestock up and running and our meat industry working a little bit better. We're seeing way more um, being produced now, but that's okay. And these trucks aren't just going back and forth all the time, so that's awesome too. Where's my... I'm kind of wondering. If it's looped around, we should be able... Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. It's looping around. I don't know where this road is going. It's the road to nowhere, but it's okay. That's fine. Happening over here. Lots of crops over here, actually. Food being produced, lots of food actually. Food is not a problem. Crops is the problem and then what that means in terms of the meat situation. Okay, so everybody should now then have their stuff, right? This is continuing to fill up. Everybody should have their stuff. And we're just waiting on getting livestock done at an appropriate rate for these guys to go up, go over, pick up some livestock and bring it on over here. We need like 13 more tons. Any crops in this? Nothing. No crops. I need to. I need that other Frida to uh, to bring in crops over here. I think that's what's going to have to have to happen. We're never going to have. Well, it's a fair bit, but and there's there's a fair bit out out there still, and we need to collect a lot of this. Is uh, we're going to lose crops here. We are honestly going to lose crops here because these guys. are not unloading quick enough. I need way more unloading capacity over here. We're doing it pretty quickly. The unloading is happening fairly quickly, but there's just too many trucks now. But I, I am, I'm happy that we're, we're moving so much of it. 
Happy that we're moving so much of it. This is... Yeah, this should really be sufficient now. This train is gone. And this should now be moving way more livestock in here. So we should have a fair bit of crops at all of these facilities. Excellent. Okay, I think that's okay. I think that's... Ooh, that's not what I had in mind. That's by no means what I had in mind. Let's just... Uh, wrong button, actually. I just wanted to stop the um, auto purchase. We've got 500 tons over here, which is okay. But yeah, that's not what I had in mind. Didn't want to throw a lot of crops in the water. But in terms of money, yeah, it's okay. No problem. We should have a Frida coming up. Yeah, here comes a Frida. Frida without uh, fuel, I'm guessing. Yeah, completely on the empty side. Making its way over to, yeah, over there where they will be able to fill up. Got this Frida coming on in, but there's way more than a Frida capacity now. I'm way more worried about that we're not going to be able to empty out all of these guys. Still hundreds of tons over here. And in, in expanding this, certainly that's fine, but the problem is we can't move the crops in here quick enough. Um, and so we may have to end up doing multiple of these guys, or at least just rejigging this operation so that we've got a lot more room for um, for trucks to unload at the same time. I think that's uh, that's a challenging component of what we're dealing with right now. What's happening over here? Oh, that's a pretty decent amount of livestock. If we make our way over this way, oh, we're filled up and we're filled up over here cannot store any more meat and we're filling up on livestock over here excellent okay so let's get our meat situation moving um what i'm wondering and this is such a challenge to get across here and this one is going across what i'm wondering is do we bring in the meat over here i believe we should because this isn't part of any of our logistics And they won't be able to do both. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's um let's get these guys. How many how many we only have one refrigerator truck. But anyway, let's um what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say come on over here, pick up what you need on this side. Okay, because you're gonna pick up meat over there. Okay, now let's not let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's me what I'm gonna do. I'm going to grab one of these vehicles, refrigerator truck vehicles over here, one of them, okay, and I'm, I'm just going to run a little route from here to here, and where you're going to load and you're going to unload meat, and you're just going to go and do that. Just that one vehicle is going to do that all the time, and that should move enough over here to supply all of Ultima Grad. So Ultima Grad should now have no problems to do that. And guys, I think we're pretty much at the end of this episode. So I didn't expand, honestly didn't expand a lot on what we've done. We are, oh, this is this is actually quite a good turnaround. If we can get things to move a little quicker through here, that's actually quite a good turnaround. Let's, uh, let's just hang on a few more minutes while we see what's going on with our Fridas. So that one's going back to Port of Chaos. This one, um, we should be able to fill up the next Frida to come down here. That's awesome. I like that. I like that. And I need to fix this. Um, our access arrangements over here is not quite good. You know what we can do? One thing that we can do is we can try and get them to come in over this way. This is a... Uh, I don't like what we're seeing right here. So can I please... Uh, okay, what am I after? I'm after a, a waypoint. We should have a waypoint here. Yeah, there's a waypoint there. So there's a waypoint there, and then with that, I'm just going to... That doesn't want to work. Okay, let's uh, let's let's get rid of the waypoint. And what I'll do is I'll. Oh, it can't actually go that way. Oh man, 
Let's do this. And let's do... What else? What else? What else? What else can I do? Okay. Now. Let's... Uh... Oh, beautiful. Now, keep going. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. That just gives us a little bit more room to get vehicles running this way a little quicker. And to be honest, you know what we can also do? We can make this a one-way loop. It doesn't, it does not matter. If we make it a one-way loop, we might get more capacity through there. So let's make this a one-way loop. Yeah, so unfortunately, well, we're just... Yeah, I wished, wished we could have gotten that working a little bit. Uh, it's looking better. It's looking better. It's still not brilliant, but it's looking way better. Lots of fuel needing to do its thing. Okay, this guy's coming in here now. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Hopefully that does things a little bit better. Just, just, I mean, we're just using this as a little bit more storage space, to be honest. I think that's 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 being quite helpful already. Um, lots of guys are picking up on fuel. Um, this guy, for some reason, can't make its way to where it wants to go. Okay, what I'm going to do then is let's just, um, from a one-way perspective, let's just make this section two-way again. So this guy can, that guy should now find his way. I think this is where he wants to go. If I do this and say control H, yeah, there he goes. Awesome. Awesome. This guy's filling up on fuel and filling up on crops. Going to move back that way. And it's looking better. We've got a lot of these guys now trying to fill up on fuel. That's okay. A pretty slow. Oh, that's a little weird. It's just a slow operation. That's all it is. Just a slow operation. But it's 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 fairly effective. We, but we could be better. It could be better. We just need to get that done a little quicker. But I think turning this section into into two, into one way is probably helping with that storage space. That is also helping a fair bit with storage space. That's good. Our Frida is almost full. How much is in here? 800 tons. Okay, now this Frida is making its way down here. I just want to do that. It's gonna, we're overrunning a fair bit now. Love to see where this is all heading. No livestock whatsoever over here. Do we not have workers? Very few workers over here. Very few workers. Should fill up to yeah this is actually working really well our 20 percent rule is working well so these guys aren't constantly running not constantly running i think i like it i like it a lot just want to wait for this frida to make its way down here i love the frida and then we'll see them popping in and do we need okay hang on i'm not sure if we need power but I don't mind adding a little bit of power to the mix. Um, I don't mind adding a little bit of power to the mix. Just from this perspective, what we'll do is we'll do a little one, a little baby. Because that'll mean that this can actually work a little quicker. Um, let's do this. It does look, it, it, it could look quite nice to do that. So let's, um, let's do this. There we go. Build all of those and hopefully that's going to give us power over here. All of these should now be powered, so that should help. Uh, we'd only add the access point, really. We need a through station, to be honest. Let's meet, where's our Frida? Come on, come on, get it comes. 
1.2 billion rubles. And here comes the Frida. And that should mean that all of this is working quite well. Do we not have a... Is this our closest petrol station? That's okay. It's okay. Okay, Frida coming in. And I think once this guy drops it off over here, is this one empty? Practically empty now. And so now, hopefully, with this guy dropping off major tonnage, we should be all good. What is your route saying? You're going to load not until you're full and you're going to unload, but um, you can wait until you're unloaded. I think that's going to be sufficient. Now, here we go. Big time crops available right here. Now we're ready to go. We're going to have some big, big time crops able to be picked up on this side to fill up the, uh, the rest of these guys. Now we just need more workers, I believe. 26 is not bad, but five is pretty, pretty, pretty bleak. So more workers is what we need. Let's have a quick look over here. What's going on with our situation with workers? Got like 25 of them over there. What's this build over here? We need way more people, way more people. You're seeing meat available. Are you complaining about stuff not getting done? Meat? You're still without meat? You should be able to get meat. Can you walk there? You can walk there. Okay, so anyway, um, our distribution is looking a lot better. A lot better. What's in this? This is the livestock being dropped off. This is full of livestock. This is... So we're basically not moving meat quick enough. That is the, the, the gist of it. Gist of it. Let's quickly see what's going on with, uh, with meat over here. Meat is coming in at a fair rate, but... Of course, this is the guy bringing in the meat from the other one, right? So eight tons at a time. That's fine. That's going to be good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say the meat distribution train. So I'm not sure how many I have, but it should be a meat, dis meat rail distribution, right? So you're coming into um, Ultima Logistics over there, right? To unload this. I'm going to say, actually, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. I'm going to remove that one. And at this one, no, 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 I removed the wrong one. Honestly, removed the wrong one. Do that again. You're gonna come in over here. That one, I'm gonna remove. This one, you're gonna load. So now, I'm hoping we'll sort ourselves out a fair bit here now. And go so now you're actually going to be picking up meat over here and it's just going to be that truck that's going to continue to fill that one up with meat and that'll be sufficient to allow so that's oh that's going to be really helpful i think meat is going to be so much better but now we're actually with a bit of a backlog going on over here that's going to be awesome this is the way you should have we should have done the meat in the first place lots of livestock somewhere and then not too much else but yeah, there we go. That's good. That is awesome. Lots of flexibility. This guy, these guys are still struggling to unload at a, at a reasonable rate here. Um, and I'm worried that we're going to end up losing a lot of this stuff because we're like a couple of months away from the snow. But I'll uh, once we'll, we'll just have to stay with it at the moment. But yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can sort things out a little bit uh, better in the future. How many workers on here? Just have a quick look. 87 workers slowly need more more and more workers but yeah it's popping up nicely now it's really popping up nicely now how much livestock oh each one of these can save a fair bit of livestock too i think this is going to be awesome i think now we're kind of set up and ready to go we're not going through our crops as quickly anymore yeah all good all good guys that's it we are producing meat at a better pace now so now everybody over here should have meat available to them. So these meat storages should be jam-packed and everybody should be, have access to meat. Let's pop in the, over here. Um, 100 citizens could not get meat, but they will get meat the next time they go to the shop. That is, that's a promise, I think, I think. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Remember to leave your comments as to what we should be doing for the 100th episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.